Welcome back to Lavinia the Cat and Katrina the Cat read Major Benhead's Diarrhea. I'm Lavinia the Cat and I'm Katrina the Cat. Now let's continue where we left off, shall we? Of course. <laughs> Nanetka, you better get Major Benhead through the door lit, Granny said. With that being said, Luna had an idea. Here, Major Benhead, come inside my house to the bathroom. Molly says you might have explosive diarrhea. Lunette, Molly, and Major Benhead headed inside Lunette's house. Once inside the bathroom, Major Benhead couldn't move to the toilet. Lunette and Molly had a bad feeling about what's bound to happen. Uh-oh, I'm gonna explode, Major Benhead said as he let out another fart. Ew, Lunette said as she and Molly covered their faces with their with their hands. <laughs> Goodness. Holy crap, Lunette! It's gonna be Hiroshima in here! Major Ben had exclaimed. He then he then let out a huge explosion of diarrhea into his pants. <laughs> it was so powerful that it made a hole in his pants. <laughs> oh my goodness. <laughs> there was so much diarrhea that it got everywhere in the bathroom. Lunette was gagging at the smell. Oh, what a mess, Lunette said, as Major Ben had blasted more diarrhea in the bathroom. It was a huge mess. There was diarrhea all over the walls, the floor, the ceiling, the sink, the bathtub, and the toilet. And unfortunately, Luna and Molly were covered in diarrhea. I'm sorry, Luna and Molly. I had no idea why the poutine gave me explosive diarrhea, Major Bedhead said. Maybe I have s maybe I have something in the couch for that, Major Bedhead. I'm sure I do have something to help ease that, Lunette said, as she and Molly headed to the dance academy. Major Bedhead was on the floor, groaning in pain. Then out of the blue, Lunette noticed three vampire girls walking onto the dance academy. And it was none other than the Hex Girls. They showed up with Scooby and Scooby and the gang. Where are we, Fred? Daphne asked. I'm not sure, Daph. I think we took a wrong turn and ended up here, Fred replied. Who are you guys? Major Bedhead asked. We're the Mystery Incorporated, and we are the Hex Girls, Fred replied. I'm Fred Jones, and this is Daphne Blake, Velma Dinkley, Shaggy Rogers and Scooby Doo. Like, what is this place? Shaggy asked. Well, Mystery Inc., I'm Lunette the Clown, Lunette replied. This is my doll, Molly, and my friend, Major Badhead. We have a problem, and I hope you guys can help. Scooby and the gang with the Hex Girl smelled something foul, like moldy diarrhea with bits of corn in it. What's that flipping smell? One of the girls asked. It happened to be Thorn, who was the leader, who was the lead singer. Oh, I'm sorry about that. Major Ben had a, has has explosive diarrhea. Lunette replied. It was from Granny's homemade poutine, but I don't know why it gave him explosive diarrhea. Fred then had an idea. Why not my gang and the Hex Girls and I help? We can figure out the mystery. Fred said. That was a blessing to Lunette, Major Badhead, and Molly. That was a blessing to Lunette, Major Badhead, and Molly. That'll be awesome. Thank you, guys, Lunette replied. But all of a sudden, Major Badhead let out a loud fart, so loud that it stank the dance academy. Major Redhead roared. <laughs> I don't, <laughs> yeah, my, my Scooby-Doo uh, impression is pretty bad, so sorry about that, folks, Scooby said while covering his nose. Aw, oh, crap, Thorn said. As Major Ben had groaned in pain, another diarrhea explosion was about to happen. Oh, crap, I'm gonna explode, Major Ben had exclaimed as, as he let out another huge diarrhea explosion. It got all over Scooby and the gang and the Hex Girls. The diarrhea was making Lunette's house stink like crazy. Zoinks! Shaggy exclaimed. 
Major Badhead sure has explosive diarrhea for sure. Where should we start this mystery? Luna, a Luna asked. When she was the she was back a backup singer for the Hex Girls. Start in the bathroom, Lunette said. It's where the explosive diarrhea started. Fred, along with the gang, nodded in agreement. Jinkies, Velma said. She, along with her friends, were gagging at this point. Major Bedhead's diarrhea problem sure is a mystery. We'll find out what gave him diarrhea. You can count on the mystery, Ink, and the Hex Girls. We'll get back to you, Lunette, when we solve the mystery, Fred said. Lunette and Molly, along with Major Bedhead, were in Lunette's wardrobe. A pink starfish was hiding under a pile of clothes. It was none other than Patrick Star, and he had planned to get back at Shadow Reader. Only doing that because he didn't get Patrick any candy for some time. Major Bedhead looked under the pile of clothes. A starfish? How did he get here? Major Bedhead asked. Shh, Patrick hushed Major Bedhead. I don't want Shadow to find me. I'm posting not safe for work stuff on his channel. Major Bedhead was confused and looked at Lunette who shrugged. Not safe for work stuff? That's not allowed on YouTube. The Shadow Reader could get into trouble. Lunette said as a YouTuber walked into the wardrobe. It was the Shadow Reader. Excuse me, clowns, have you seen a pink starfish? Shadow Reader asked. He's under the pile of clothes here. Why? Lunette asked. Well, let's just say that he took my laptop, Shadow began. He then heard Patrick snickering from the pile of clothes. Who are you guys? Shadow then asked. I'm Lunette the Clown. This is my doll, Molly, and that clown mailman is Major Bathead. Your friend Patrick is planning to post not safe for work stuff on your channel, Lunette replied. Shadow Reader looked under the pile of clothes to see Patrick on his laptop. Oh, excuse me. Patrick was about to post Kim Possible third Rule 34 pics on Shadow's community tab, which will get Shadow's channel into a lot of trouble. Wait till Shadow sees this. Patrick snickered as Shadow grabbed his laptop from the pink starfish. Patrick, what are you doing? Shadow asked angrily. Uh, watching Kim Possible? Patrick replied, but Shadow wasn't falling for any of Patrick's lies. Oh, no you don't, Patrick. You're planning to get me into trouble with YouTube for not safe for work art, Shadow said. As he started to delete all the Rule 34 images of Kim Possible from his community tab, Patrick then scoffed at Shadow. Too bad, Shadow. I'm going to post not safe for work stuff on your channel. That is only for not giving me candy. For not giving me my candy, and I want my candy now. Patrick replied as Major Badhead let out a loud fart. He was going to have more diarrhea. Oh god, I'm gonna have more diarrhea again, Major Benhead said, as he let out another fart. It stank up the wardrobe like crazy. Uh-oh, looks like we're gonna have another diarrhea explosion, Lunette said, as Major Benhead lets out a huge diarrhea explosion from his... from his... behind. It was sprayed all over the wardrobe. The diarrhea got over the walls, the ceiling, Lunette's clothes. Shadow Reader's laptop, and even on the dresser. And unfortunately, the Shadow Reader and Patrick were covered in diarrhea. And this is where we will stop for part two. Stay tuned for part three of Lavinia the Cat and Katrina the Cat read Major Bedhead's Diarrhea.